If India is dominating the world stage today, it is not just because of its economy. It's also because India is an atomic power. And all thanks to Dr. Homi Jahagir Bhabha, we have atomic energy for our weapons as well as our uh, energy usage. Now, thanks to that revolutionary man, today we also have BARC, which we call it as Bhabha Atomic Research Center. Bhava Atomic Research Center is not all about atomic research. It's also about biological research. At this juncture, as I speak to you, BARC is a hub of biological research. A lot of funding goes into BARC and a lot of biological researchers are doing research. The only downside is you won't know them or they won't come in public and say that they are BARC scientists because, hey, they're working in secret projects. But at the same time, BARC contributes immensely to our nation building and nation power. If India is dominating on the world stage, Bhabha Atomic Research Center plays a crucial role. So today we will try to find out how can you as a biological researcher or a biology student or a biology fresher can get into BARC. Now first things first, you have to know that BARC is a government organization, so anything less than MTech or a PhD will not get you a job. So if you don't have an MTech or PhD, that's something you should target. But then you should know what are the research areas where Baba Atomic Research Center is doing research in biological research. So let us first try to understand that. Now first field where BARC is working is radiation biology. They want to understand how radiation impacts our body, our cell. They want to study the effects of ionizing radiations on biological systems, including cellular damage, molecular damage, and the repair mechanisms and radiation protection. Now, why are they doing research on this is because in the event of an atomic bomb explosion, they should know how to contain it. Second, how to protect their scientists from this exposing radiation. So that is why a lot of research is going in radiation biology. If you do your research on radiation biology, you have a sure shot job in BARC as a senior scientist. So that is one area which you can work on if you want to get a job in Baba Atomic Research Center. Now, the second one is obviously microbiology. Now, Baba Atomic Research Center is researching on microbial biodiversity, biotechnology, applications of microorganisms, and the development of microbial products also. They're also trying to understand the impact of radiation on microbial flora. So that is one area again, microbiological research. If you are doing, you can get into uh, Baba Atomic Research Center. Now the third one is obviously developing techniques for genetic engineering. So of course that is biotechnology, bioremediation, and the production of biofuels and bio-based chemicals using atomic radiations. So the, again, there also you can get into research if you are doing research in this field. The fourth will obviously be plant biotechnology, plant biology. And that is again, extension of radiation biology, but in plants. So investigating plant responses to radiation, plant genetics impact, and the development of crops and with traits such as higher yield, pest resistance and stress tolerance, and how radiation impacts or doesn't impact it. Understanding the impact of solar radiation on plants is also one of the areas where they are doing research. So if you have interest in this field, you can get a senior scientist job there. Followed by that, again, animal biology, molecular biology also, they are doing research, conducting studies on effects of radiation on animals, animal genetics, and development of animal models for human diseases. Wow, looks like BARC is not just all about biotech, I mean, uh, atomic research, it's also about all of this, it's wonderful. Followed by that, obviously, if we are doing research on radiation biology, we would also like to understand what is its impact on human health. So medical sciences, researching radiation medicine, including development of radiopharmaceuticals for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes and studying the health effects of radiation exposure is one field where BARC has area of interest. Now, followed by that, they all have a full-fledged molecular biology lab and um, Dr. Hari Prasad, whom I interviewed last time, was the head of that molecular biology lab and he was investigating on molecular mechanisms underlying radiation effects, gene expression and cellular processes. Of course, they are also researching on bioinformatics, genomics and proteomics. 
conducting research on genomic and proteomic responses of, of organisms to, radi to radiation and other environmental stressors, using computational tools and techniques to analyze biological data, particularly in context of radiation biology and genetics. So these are the areas where PARC is constantly doing research. So if you do your PhD in any of these areas, your chances of getting into BARC is high. But now the question is when? Because BARC doesn't come up with, with recruitment so often. Normally, BARC hires from other CSR labs. So if you are a scientist in CSR lab, you can get recruited there. Now, BARC also has training school where you can get in as a scientist. So they have entrance exam called as OCES DGFS. Now under this, the eligibility is BE or BTEC in biotechnology. You can apply. So you have to prepare for the BARC online exam, which is conducted once a year. And the syllabus generally includes uh, subjects relevant to your field, which is biotechnology. BARC also hires through the GATE score. And um, if you have a good GATE score, you can always get into PhD there itself. Now, I know a lot of students from Biotechnica who are already placed there. So if in case you want any help, and if you're studying at Biotechnica, I can help you connect with uh, Biotechnica alumni who are working there and they will guide you on how it works. Now, the application process to apply, it varies for various posts. So generally, uh, the application will come in national news newspapers or Biotechnica's newsletter. So if you can subscribe to Biotechnica's newsletter free of cost, the link is given in the description. It is biotechnica.org slash subscribe. Now, generally, after you have applied, there will be some selection process and they'll call you for interview. There, they will test your technical knowledge your expertise. They will also test your current affairs knowledge. They will they'll ask you uh, certain questions related to radiation biology also. And uh, if you want to test your uh, interview skills, you can always take interview at uh, Biotechnica's job assistance program where you can get trained on these, these things. And of course, you have to network with a lot of professionals who are working in this, this area and understand, publish some papers so that you can easily get absorbed there. First and foremost thing is don't just do research, gain experience, build a reputation, publish papers. There are various entry routes into BARC. One of them is contractual route. They may ask you know, hire you as a JRF uh, or SRF also. Or they may um, collaborate with your institute, which is suppose you are in IGIB or somewhere other place. So they may collaborate with your institute and through that you get introduced to the BARC scientists and then you can start working. But remember, Working at BARC is all about patience because, you know, applications for scientists comes once in three years. So you have to be ready whenever it comes. It requires a lot of patience, persistence and continuous learnings and skill development. So if your area of research is radiation biology, impact of radiation on humans, radiopharmaceuticals and anything which I mentioned like molecular biology or microbiology, you are free to do your research, publish papers and be ready because the time may come any moment. So that's why subscribe to Biotechnica's newsletter so that whenever a bark vacancy is here, we will inform you and you will get the job faster. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any further questions or any other issue you want to know how to become a scientist in a particular lab, I'll definitely make a video. Till then, keep shining, keep learning and of course, stay as a Biotechnica subscriber because a Biotechnica subscriber wins the world. All the best. Take care. Bye. Thank you.